Legislation might focus people's minds, but another summer like last summer is really, really going to focus people's minds. The Utah legislature is taking aim at your lawn to save water. Two bills are being pushed on Utah's Capitol Hill to offer you an incentive to ditch your lawn and to ban cities and homeowners associations from requiring it. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has the story from Utah's Capitol Hill. 121 Water Conservation Medifications, please say aye. 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 A House committee voted unanimously to support Representative Robert Spenlove's bill offering incentives for people to ditch their lawns for water-wise xeriscaping and other landscaping options. Encouraging people um, to, to remove that non-functioning grass. He's proposing the state spend up to $5 million on incentives to persuade people to get rid of park strips and places where turf isn't used. Not only is our state in a severe drought, but we're also facing dramatic population increase. And, uh, and my thought is the best way that we can be encouraging people to be uh, water wise is to set the example. Representative Spenlove's bill also requires state government to cut its water use by 25%. That means facilities like Capitol Hill here, the lawn's going to have to go a little more brown. I just don't want us to, to, to have unattended consequences to our, to our environment by saying grass is bad, let's take all the grass out and put rocks in or something. It's those extra, extra areas, those non-functioning turf that, that we're really trying to address. The bill is one in a series aimed at consumer use of water with an eye toward conservation. A pending bill bans cities and HOAs from requiring only lush green lawns. There's also bills to expand secondary water metering, which tracks how much outdoor watering you do, offer incentives for agriculture users to switch to water saving technology and lease water rights to get more into the Great Salt Lake. My bill just says we should no longer have any governmental entities in Utah forcing a property owner to put in lawn. Representative Ray Ward's bill takes aim at cities and HOAs that still require lawns. It forces them to allow xeriscaping or other options. So I hope everybody is thinking about ways to move, you know, more, more and more in this direction. Um, both cities and homeowners associations and individual property owners, all of us, need to be figuring out how we do this better so that we can still have some water left for growth and some water left so that we still have the lake. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.